we've all gotten better. From top to bottom. And so, so, you know, um, I feel good about it. If all the top three guys could play, they've worked with the ones um, throughout camp. And, uh, you know, we could be more than functional as an offense. From last week to this week, do you feel like their, their leadership, their, their voice control, and that kind of stuff has gotten? Uh, I know you were a little frustrated last week. Yeah, I mean, that was the worst day we had when I last talked to you. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. If that was the worst day, it was still a little bit better on tape than we thought. So, you know, our guys have done a good job taking care of the ball. Um, we've really harped on that uh, in the fundamentals and just in, in a run game and things that way. And um, today we added a bunch of new stuff yesterday for red zone, high red zone. We wanted to get it in a little ahead of time. So uh, there was a few things there <clears throat> that we'll clean up, you know, and then we'll have another session of red zone. We're in Ireland, but uh, overall, they, they, these guys have worked hard, and uh, you know, I, I kind of told them a story today that, that there was a little bit of a lull in the practice, and they started to like uh, kind of get on one another, just like, "Come on, come on," you know. And I just said, "Look, th you guys have worked hard. It's been a really good camp." They fought, and I said, it reminded me when I was had to call the plays in at the Super Bowl. And, and I thought right before that, that, that if I screw this play up, I won't be able to go back to Pittsburgh because they'll murder me. So those guys can't. It's important to them, but they got to relax. There's that fine line of just, hey, you've done well. Right, we're going to make some mistakes. How are you going to handle adversity? So just a little reminder there that they can't get up tight and get on one another. It's important to them. And uh, they're fun to be around, and, it, and it's been a really good camp. And it, the, all the offensive coaches have done a great job with these guys. Mark, what do you think about the, yeah. the offensive yeah. line? Yeah, no, I mean, we've been healthy. You know, Cork had the little time off, and then Teddy's done well. So we saw all the five guys that we've mixed guys around. Coach Donnie and Coach Aaron have done a really good job. So we could play seven or eight guys, you know, that way. And, uh, you know, with what's that? Good about yeah, no, I feel good about them. I mean, we think we got a pretty good defense, and we stood up against those guys and made some plays. So, uh, um, you know, th those guys have just gotten better and better. Worked really hard. Coach, we've seen when we are work little wide receivers. What do you kind of envision as well being an offense? Oh, both. He'll play both. You know, play running back and then he'll play some receiver stuff that way. Um, He's a really he's, he's he's probably the best receiving running back we have, and also knows protection. So there's a bunch of little stuff we can do in packages. You know, we could bring him in and certain things, and that's what it, what the plan is now. Some situational, you know, uh, situational game plan with him on offense. What was the genesis of that? Where did that? Uh, well, I just this, we, he was working on the summer. We talked about him last. Because we had a bunch of running backs come in and it was a little bit deeper. Um, Trey was hurt for a little bit, you know, and Brody. We moved those guys trying to, in that position, so we said this thing could be good for you. So, and I, I've seen him really take a big jump. Last couple of days, he had a big, couple of big catches that way, and he's fast. He's a guy that can run, and, and uh, you know, so just trying to develop depth. You know, we're not going to be able to play the same running back. We know he could go back there, and uh, so that that was the thought process. As a run game, and how much do you envision having? How much ideally would you like to involve the quarterback? And, and by that I mean, how much would you not like? To well, we don't want anybody to get hurt. So, I mean, he's going to be involved in a run game, you know, with certain different things that way, you know. And uh, you know, we might do some other things with the other guys and the three guys. You know, we could put something together game plan wise. But yeah, they'll be involved and. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to get to what extent, you know, of different things that way. How's yeah. it look just with the running backs giving it to them? They've been good. They've been good. There's no real clear cut number one guy. I think we got four guys that could play five with Ramir that uh, all do a little bit different things. And I think you kind of get, get figure that with game, pl game plan. You know, what I've done in the past is, hey, what's your, f you know, especially for the young guys or something, said, what's your favorite run, you know? And whoever we name the starter, get that. I'm going to say, hey, here's going to be your first run so they know. 
the young freshman went into the game and I was going to run the ball, he would know whether it's a zone play, inside zone, outside zone, or, or a gap scheme play or something that way. It's just the kind of – same with the quarterbacks. Well, if, if, if they had to go into the game, they'd know what the first play would be situationally. They have some, some say in it, you know. So they've got confidence not running something ahead in practice. Uh, you know, what do you got? Gabe and Anthony and Jaquez and AJ and Emmett's come on and Cooper's done a good job. So I can see all those guys playing.